guys and welcome back um now i'm gonna answer the questions that you the viewers asked me there are a lot of questions so just bear with me okay the first question was how do i feel about poly life now me personally i am all for it that is just something that i'm for my only issue with it is that there are a lot of people pretending that they are for it and they're really not and i say that because let's say you're a couple and you're wanting to try the poly life okay cool that's great but if you're a couple and you already have previous relationship problems like you guys have current problems i would not suggest bringing a third person into the mix because that's not fair to them you're confusing them you're creating problems and you're making it feel like they're wasting their time now let's say you want to try it because you're bored your your sex life is boring whatever the case may be whatever the reason is uh, i wouldn't suggest doing a poly life but if you decide that you want to bring a third person to the mix, please let them know what's going on. Like if you're new to it, if you're just trying it out because you want to see if you like it, like let that third person know so that they can act accordingly. Now, here's the, the oh, y'all, y'all really be killing me. Now, if you strictly just want to have threesomes all the time. For the love of God, please stop insulting the rest of the poly people and saying that you are about that poly life because you're not. You're strictly only doing it for sex. Just tell them that you like threesomes. That's not poly life. I mean, granted, you got more than one person. Yeah, but it's not. I, I, I just if you're only doing it for threesomes, stop saying you poly because you're not. But yes, I am about that life, especially if I find the right people. It would definitely be good for me. So question number two was, what made me embrace poly life? First of all, I'm very open minded when it comes to things like that. Like I'll, I'll check it out see what it's like you know if i'm put in a situation you know i run with it i personally don't see anything wrong with wanting to be with more than one person and for me i feel like it would be a good thing because every time i've been in a relationship with a guy i always feel like something is missing i feel like i'm missing a big part of something that needs to be there and i and i noticed that when i did do all these poly relationships with all these other people it it felt good like it it just it felt so right it felt perfect i just i don't know but i i love it i'm for it like it's a great thing question number three was how many poly relationships have i been in i've been in three and a half and i say half because one of them kind of didn't count but you know we'll just we'll roll with that Question number four was explain my poly relationships, my experiences. I kind of didn't want this question, but I'll go ahead and I'll talk about it. So my first experience with poly life, was, it started with my high school sweetheart. Now, he was a cheater. He was. And if y'all know who he is, don't beat him up too bad. Because anyways, um, he was a cheater. He was cheating on me with this coworker. And I kind of knew, but not to the extent of what it really was. Anyways, the situation arised and it was to the point where I needed to have a, a conversation with her face to face. Of course, I had to put my feelings aside because I had genuine concern for this person. Like, granted, she was... A guy, she was a girl that he was sleeping with. I had genuine concerns. So I'm having conversations with the girl, trying to figure out what we're going to do, this, that, and the third. And my boyfriend, or my boyfriend at the time, was in the corner with his head down. Shame. Of course, as he should. I was pissed off at him, but you know, 
It wasn't even about that. So he decides he wants to go check the mail because he's tired of the heat being on him. So on his way to go check the mail, he goes and he kissed the girl. I'm confused because this is supposed to be a serious moment. And then he comes and he kisses me. And then he runs to go check the mail. And I'm stuck at this point. Like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. So we both confused, just sitting there quiet. Didn't say nothing, you know. And then he finally comes back, but he comes back all real slow. Like, like he trying to make sure we still good. We not fighting or whatever. And so he comes in and then the girl was like, you know, I don't know. Um, maybe you should try it the other way. So I'm like, wait, what? So he comes and he kisses me, right? And then he kisses the girl. And so now I'm stuck because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm so lost. I, I don't, I'm not comprehending. But then the girl comes, kiss, she comes and kisses me. And then it kind of just went from there. Um, I got to know the girl and I understand why he liked her. She had a bomb ass personality, y'all. Like she was fucking amazing. Her positivity was just through the roof. Only reason why I didn't work out is because our lack of communication. That's it. That's it. Like our, our communication sucked. I was still getting used to poly life. I was still, I still had to learn how to share. Like our lack of communication was, was, was gone. So, but, uh, other than that, mm, yeah, it only lasts, it lasted about two months. So I mean, it wasn't too bad. It just, you know, with it being the first time and everything, yeah. Now, my second one uh, is the half that I was telling y'all about. And the reason why I call it a half is because, like, me and this girl, we liked each other. And it was supposed to be, like, somewhat of a poly thing. But uh, me and her didn't really do anything. It was more so me and her boyfriend. And, uh, yeah, that didn't really work out too well because I moved and, you know, I stopped talking to them and this and the third. Anyways, and then let's see. My third one lasted two weeks. It was a waste of my time. It is a situation that I would want, I wouldn't want any unicorn to be in. Okay. And by the way, a unicorn is a third person that is equally dating the couple and they're like ideal, like they're perfect, you know, whatever. Anyways, so the girl wanted me to join her man in a poly relationship but she really didn't want the poly i kind of had that i had a feeling she didn't but it was just the way that it came out and it ended horribly and yeah i don't talk to the girl anyway so number four that poly relationship um it could have been great it was just there were just a lot of there were a lot of issues that were brought into the relationship. Also something that I talked about. Um, they were great when it was good. And then when it was bad, it was, it was kind of hard. So this is why I say don't bring people into your relationship when you, um, when you got problems that are pre-existing. Question number five was how can a couple make sure that the attention is balanced? Um, there's no 100% sure way to do it, but the best thing that I can tell you is to communicate. If you feel a type of way, you feel like you're not getting your fair share, you feeling jealous, let them know, talk. Y'all got to talk to each other because that's the only way that the couples are going to know that something is wrong. Talk to each other. Question number six is would I do it again? Hell fucking yes, I would. I'm looking for my girlfriend as we speak. Question number seven was how many people qualify for my idea of poly life? And would they both be dating me or would they each or would we each have our own relationship? Now, my poly life will be a poly fidelity. And we will be a closed triad. But for now, I'm just looking for a girl that I like. Because I have my boyfriend. I just want my girlfriend. 
And I feel like I need to get to know my girlfriend to see if she would even fit into what me and my boyfriend got going on. And if she does, then we're all going to have a relationship with each other. Like, it's, it's not going to be a big deal. It won't. I just, I got to make sure that she's good. And then I got to make sure that he's good. And then if we're all good, then there goes my clothes. Try it. It'd be perfect. I just have to find a girlfriend that I like and see if I like her. And if I do like her, then I'll introduce her to my boyfriend. Hey, boyfriend, this is girlfriend. Hey, girlfriend, this is boyfriend. They get to know each other. If they feel like they'll connect, then cool. If not, then it'll just be uh, me dating her and me dating him separately. And if he don't feel comfortable with that, then I'm sorry, girlfriend, you got to go. Bye, you know, but um, as far as I know, that's not an issue right now. We haven't really seriously tried it. Um, I just need to know if I like the girl or not, because if I don't like this girl, you don't need to be touching my man. Okay, you got to go like there's no reason for you to be here. So anyways. That was all the questions for now. I'm pretty sure people have more. All I know is this whole poly life video experience was nerve wracking, but I'm glad I got over it. Um, if you like the stuff that I am posting, feel free to like the video, share the video with your friends, of course, and please subscribe to my channel. Even if you don't watch all my videos, who knows? You might see something that you like. Anyways, I hope that I've answered all of your questions. And if not, feel free to drop the comments or Facebook it to me or Instagram it to me or whatever. Thank you for watching. Bye. Kidding. I'm back because you, the viewers, have more questions for me, and I am here for you, okay? We're gonna answer some more questions about poly life and my experience. So, the first question was When did I start poly life? I wanna say that I was 22 when I started party life um i want to say it was it was kind of on accident but not really but it was with my high school sweetheart and it was from his cheating so yeah so the next question was how did i meet my partners um i was in a relationship with my high school sweetheart and we quote unquote met our third partner from his cheating so that's how I met her. Um, the rest, I was a unicorn. Um, the second couple, uh, her mom was knocking on my door, assuming that she was on the right floor. And when I opened the door, she thought I was the girl that was cheating with her boyfriend. And she tried to push through my door. And the girl ended up coming downstairs to apologize or whatever. And um, then we just connected from there. Uh, the guy was her boyfriend, so that's how we met. Uh, the third person was, um, uh, I knew the guy from a long time ago, um, and I met his girlfriend at the time through Facebook. She had added me saying she thought I was cute, but then two weeks later she was, um, asking how did I know her boyfriend, which I knew was the reason why she added me. Um, and then the fourth couple I met on Plenty of Fish. Now, if you guys know where to go to find your poly couple or your unicorn or whatever, please let me know. Because Plenty of Fish is the only place that I know that kind of works, but not really. So, yeah, that's where I met all those people. 
The only reason why I say plenty of fish don't really work is because most of those people on there are only looking for threesomes anyways. So that's a great place to go for that. Anywho, next question. What do you look for in a man and woman? Now, I want to say that I'm not picky, but I kind of am, but not really. But it's kind of simple. Anyways, um, personality. That's that's like the number one way to get me is personality. Because I could tell you all day long what I like in a man and a woman. And the people that I end up with end up not having all of the qualities that I want. So if your personality is bomb as fuck, you have a chance. Another reason why I want to be friends with the people first before I enter a relationship with them. So, and a man, I want my man to be tall. I want my man to be funny. I want him to be a hardworking person. You know, I'm spoiled. So if he's capable of spoiling me, that's great. And I don't mean financially, you know, good man, good money management skills is great. You know, uh, I could say I want him to look handsome, but there are some people that I dated that were, <laughs> ah, yeah, just gonna leave that alone. Um, as far as a girlfriend, um, I would want a woman that cooks and cleans, you know, uh, that works. And the reason why is because I'm more of the working person than the housewife type person. So I would want us to balance each other out. Um, as far as looks goes, I am a fan of a woman that looks like me, but better. Then I know some of y'all gonna feel some type of way because I said better. But um, if she's pretty, freckles, big booty, you know, curly hair, I'm here for the natural look. All that. All that works for me. So next question was, can I be monogamous? Yes, I can. I can be monogamous, but I want a girlfriend. So, yeah, there goes that um, question. Next question was, if I had to choose between a poly triad or two separate relationships, what would I pick? I would want, want, want 65% two separate relationships. I'm all for a triad, but... I feel like I would hate to have bond with these two people and they're more connected than I am with either one of them. I'm just not here for that. So if I had to choose, it would be two separate relationships. Um, if you have any more questions, drop it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss no videos. I'm going to sleep because I am tired. Good night, people, and have a wonderful day.